actually seen the fuzz. You can see it now. I'll put it in over my voice. The fuzz yields to my fingertip. Sometimes I come across a stronger, thicker strand that doesn't yield to my fingertip. That represents older fuzz sometimes, or maybe it represents a nerve. But each night when you go to sleep, the interfaces between your muscles grow fuzz, potentially. And in the morning, when you wake up and you stretch, the fuzz melts. We melt the fuzz. That stiff feeling you have is the solidifying of your tissues. The sliding surfaces aren't sliding anymore. There's fuzz growing in between them. You need to stretch. Every cat in the world gets up in the morning and it stretches its body and it melts the fuzz in the same way that the fuzz melted when I passed my finger through it. When you're moving, it's as if you're passing your finger through the fuzz, just like I did on the cadaver form here. So you have to stretch and move and use your body in order to melt that fuzz that's building up between the sliding surfaces of your musculature. The sliding surface, those shiny white surfaces of the rectus femoris sliding against the vastus intermedialis. So these uh, sliding surfaces are all over your body and the fuzz is all over your body. And as you move, you melt the fuzz. Now what happens if you get an injury? Aha! My shoulder. My shoulder is stiff now. I'm holding my shoulder. I go to bed. I wake up in the morning. I don't stretch my shoulder. I'm afraid it hurts. So I'm walking around like this. Last night's fuzz doesn't get melted. I go to bed. I sleep some more. Now I have two nights fuzz built up. Now two nights fuzz is more fuzz than one night's fuzz. What if I have a week's fuzz or a month's fuzz? Now those fuzz fibers start lining up and intertwining and intertwangling and all of a sudden you have thicker fibers forming. You start to have an inhibition of the potential for movement there. It's no longer simply a matter of going, oh, ah, stretch. Now you need some work. Now you might need to do a more systematic exploration of that place to restore the original movement that you lost. And usually this is the case. We have a temporary injury, then we restore our movement. But sometimes we call this aging. The buildup of fuzz amongst the sliding surfaces of our bodies so that our motion becomes limited, the limit cycles become introduced into our normal full range of motion, and we start to walk around like this. We're all fuzzed over. Our body is literally solidifying. We're reducing our range of motion in, in individual areas of our body and you know, over our entire body in general. So I believe that one of the great benefits of body work, whether it be massage or structural therapies or uh, physical therapy or any kind of hands-on therapy, uh, these types of therapies introduce movement manually to tissues that have become fuzzed over through lack of movement, whether the lack of movement is because of an injury and a person is protecting that injury or because of uh, personality expression. That was many years when I just walked around like this, so I was very still and monk-like. So, and then I became a little more dynamic in my personality when I realized what I was doing to myself and the kind of life that I wanted. So, you can grow fuzz by choice or by accident or whatever, and yet here, now you've heard the fuzz speech, you know that you can take responsibility for melting the fuzz, and if there's too much fuzz in your body and it's frozen up, you might want to seek help in order to introduce movement so that the new cycle is a little more movement and a little more movement and a little more movement instead of a little less movement, a little less movement, a little less movement. Fuzz represents time. The easier it is for me to pass my finger through the fuzz, the less amount of time it's been there. If I gotta whip out my scalpel to dig my way through one otherwise sliding surface and another, you know that that's been building up for a long time. So you can actually see time in fuzz. That's the fuzz speech. D'étudier avec un endoscope ce qui se passe sous la peau, au sein du tissu conjonctif, dans la matrice extracellulaire. Ces images saisissantes de beauté ont fait le tour du monde, révolutionnent l'approche du vivant et lancent des pistes pour explorer le tissu de soutien présent partout dans le corps qui en fait un tissu constitutif du vivant. Voici les mouvements du tissu conjonctif quand personne ne pose sa main sur la peau. 
Voici les images quand il est demandé à l'assistante de poser sa main sur la peau sans intention thérapeutique, sans mouvement visible. 